Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of our F1 My Team Career Mode and today we've got the Chinese Grand Prix but before we get into that we're just doing our daily activities, uh, weekly activities we've got the attends the F1 Esports event which give us some acclaim we've got reaction time in for Mick Schumacher's awareness and we've got the aero department focus for the aerodynamics team to get some working and also we've got R&D we've got the aerodynamics drag reduction which will be done by the 8th of April we've got the chassis which will be done by the 14th it's a weight reduction and we've got the aerodynamics rear downforce which will be done by the 30th of April so I think that'll all be the next two races time that will they'll be done by so that'll be okay also we need to do our sponsor which we'll do in a moment and also, we bought a new, a new department here, upgrade. We've got the build time, improved build time of all upgrades by 40%. That'll be done by the 16th. And we thought we'd do that, but now we're only down to under 600k, which is a little bit dangerous, but we'll be okay, because that'll be done by the race week ends, which is fine. That's fine with me. I'm just double checking now. We'll go and do our contract and find out what sponsor we want to use. We're going to sign back with Sudo, who was with before. Achieve the fastest lap in any session. We should be able to do that in P1 without a problem. Go and put that on our car now. Sudo on the car. We've got it right on the front there, just below our number. And then down here, just back on the back of the car, below our number. <clears throat> Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Right. Two of our upgrades have already gone on. Which I cannot remember which ones they were. I think it was this one here. So that's already gone onto the car. And I think the other one was a chassis. Just double checking now. Was it this one up here or this one? Which one was it? I think it might have been that one there. But yeah, two upgrades have just successfully gone onto the car, which is good. And now we can progress into the race weekend. We're up to £1.78 million now after our sponsor weekly income and our weekly income just in general. But let's go and try and see if we can get a very good qualifying position. Right, we're out for qualifying lap number one here around China. And one thing that I have noticed, which I'm not happy about, is the race is starting in wet conditions. So it doesn't matter really what tyres we do this on, because we might not even have to use them in the race at all. But let's see what our first lap around China is going to be here, driving with anger. It's been quite a decent lap to be fair, I've been quite happy with this. Let's go around this final corner and see where it's going to put us with our first lap in qualifying. And we're going to be in P2! We're only two temps. We're only two temps off Lewis Hamilton, that's a good lap. Or three temps if you go to 2.99. Very, very good lap. Let's see if we can improve on our second one. Same place up in P5 in this order. Because it's not quite ready to be near the top. But these aero improvements we put on this car, this aero improvement and the chassis improvement have made this car very, very competitive for us around here. It just feels like a really good car at the moment around this circuit. It's been another decent lap here. We're, we're improving at the moment. We went purple in the first sector, as you can see. Might be going purple in the last sector again. Green in the middle again, because we just don't quite have the pace around the middle part of this lap. And we have jumped to pole position! But in the fastest lap, oh my god! We're on pole! Provisional pole at the moment. And with qualifying complete... 
Let's review our top three today. Verstappen, Bottas and Buchan. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Well, after that completely surprising lap that put us on provisional pole, Max Verstappen and Valtteri Bottas managed to jump us, but we're starting on the second row of the grid in P3. I did not see this coming. This is an amazing, amazing qualifying session from us. Our teammates down in, I believe, 17th. Now, 16th place on a 132.1. We're up here on a 130.7. We've absolutely smoked him. It just, everything clicked for us today in this car. But as always, the AI always improve when the session ends. I don't know what that's about, but it happens nearly every single time. But let's advance. All right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. <laughs> Jeff's pre-race little uh, message here. The strategy for this race is just like any other. Nail the start, lead out of turn one, win by miles, any questions? <laughs> Brilliant from Jeff there, Brilliant. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. The ever-tightening turns one and two will prove tricky in the slippery conditions here at Shanghai, and anyone that slides wide will lose a lot of time getting back on track. Turn 14 should still be the best place for overtaking, but we'll have to see some improvement in the weather before the drivers can take advantage of that DRS assistance. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bucken, Albon, Lewis Hamilton, and Norris, Leclerc, Perez, Sainz, and Sebastian Vettel, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Esteban Ocon, and Kvyat, Schumacher, Russell, Roman Grosjean and Daniel Ricciardo. They've taken a grid penalty. Gasly, Magnussen, Raikkonen and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Right, so essentially we're going to be on intermediates and then probably switch to the mediums, I would say. I'm just going to edit this strategy now and go to stint two and i reckon oh we can't change it i was just seeing if it would let me change it to like the medium so we knew what tires going to switch to but no we're probably going to be switching to the medium tires but let's get into today's race and fingers crossed we won't be too slow in the wet <clears throat> we're gearing up now to five red lights and away we go for the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai. We're going to get a rich little bit of overtake. We don't want to use too much. In these conditions, it will just spin you out. We're going to save a lot of fuel whilst we're in into conditions as well. But we're edging around the outside of Lewis Hamil uh, sorry, Valtteri Bottas. And we're up into P2 for now, but we're going to lose it due to bad traction around here. But no, Alex Albon just backs out for some reason. But Max Verstappen is already making a breakaway at the front. We're probably going to be a bit of a blockade for everybody else. But not a bad start. We've jumped one position. We're in the P2. After a very good lap there, we're only lapping one second a lap slower than Verstappen. Back. We're seeing a gap form. 
but we're gapping Alex Albon behind us. We're very quick through this first, first sector every time. Is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Inters look like the best tyre for now. We're just waiting until we can pit for the tyres. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Not sure whether dries or inters are faster. We're right on the crossover. I think next lap will come in for dries. DRS is, DRS is enabled, which means it's time to pit. We've lost all this time that we gained on Albon. Stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. The AI are so overpowered in these conditions. It's stupid. Right, we're in. Let's get our medium tyres on. Shouldn't be double stacking because Mick's quite far back. Go, go, go. Wait. Okay, stay clear of the white. We're out in front of Hamilton and Leclerc still. Dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. It's going to be a little bit treacherous for this lap. Right, it's time to bolt. Right, it's time to try and make an overtake here. We need to try and pass the TV. I know he's going to come into the pits, but it'll be nice just to have a little gap on Hamilton before he pits. We're going for the overtake anyway. He was way too slow through there. I had no choice. You've moved up into P10. Right. Let's see if we can just do a quick lap now and bolt. We're still in P2s. So we haven't lost any positions, which is good. They're going to get better traction off this corner and DRS as well. And we also run slightly wide. Hamilton's hit us. I wonder if he's got any damage from that. He just hit the side of our car. We're going to go very defensive, use all the ERS we can with Rich Mix. And luckily, our Mercedes powered Jordan here isn't that slow in a straight line. It kind of held its own there against the DRS. When it's fully dry, we'll be okay, but it's not quite fully dry yet. Little bit wide through here. Leclerc gets us. But we're going to try and get him back with the ERS and the Rich Mix. He's going to get DRS because he was just behind us before. We're not able to get him back, so we've lost P2. And I don't think we'll be getting it back at any point in this race. He'll get us here. We're not even going to defend it, we're just going to let him go.
And Max passes us. He's back into the lead, and you'll probably pull away now. So down a place. Right into the pits we come. We slowed down way too early for the pit lane, but I'd rather do that than speed. But we're definitely going to come out behind Lando. Well, I'm almost sure of it. There goes Bottas. Go, go now. Let's go! Oh, we had issues there with the clutch. Look after these tyres now. We come out of P7 due to that poor release from ourselves in the pits. But we're going to have the better tyres. We'll be able to hopefully make these moves. The podium's long gone. But let's just see how far up the field now we can get. Albon, nice and easily. We've got the Rich Mix. We've got the ERS. We've got the DRS. We've got the ERS on as well. We couldn't quite make the move. A little bit of contact with the back of Perez. No damage though. That's what we went to check. Gonna make the move on Albon. A bit of a dangerous, forceful move, but we make the overtake. Wasn't ideal that one. I try and make it as realistic as possible and don't do that. But sometimes you just can't avoid it. DRS, rich mix, and we're going to get DRS as well. We're going to make this overtake nice and easy. You can already see us gaining. Lovely, easy overtake. We're up into P5. Next up, Lando Norris. Oh, we've already got it on this lap. 134.3. We're going to see if we can improve, though, by being enriched for the entire lap. And we're not going to be held up in the middle sector by a car. We should gain on Lando by the pit back straight. And then make the move hopefully with a bit of DRS assistance. Purple first sector. We can stay with us to the end of this lap guys. We should be on for a purple improvement lap here as well. On the throttle as early as possible. Nearly lose the back end through there. Keep it on the track without any sliding, which is good. The green middle sector, which we always are. We're never purple middle sector. We don't like it through there. If we get DRS, we should be able to improve our last lap. Bit of a wiggle. Bit of a wobble through there. Get a bit of a toe, long distance slipstream from him. No DRS, but we could use ERS and Rich Mix down the entire straight and get a nice toe from Lando. Through the final corner, ERS, DRS, and it's not quite an improvement. But be aware that these tyres need to last till the end of the race. Right, now we're just going to relax and try and make a nice overtake on Lando at some point. So I don't think we're going to improve now with our fastest lap. I think that'll probably hold to the end of the race now. Some fuel remaining. Green first sector. Somebody must have beat our first sector. Losing a bit of ground on Lando through here. The dirty air is really affecting us through this set. That's if we don't lose positions to Perez and Albon behind us. 
The tyre wear on the softs around here is awful. We've already gone up massively. Our tyres are gone. Our tyres are actually gone. Perez goes down the inside of us, forces us wide. We have a bit of contact there with Alex Albon. Perez has got us, you know. We've got a lot of spare energy. Use your overtake button. We're just going very defensive. We're not letting Albon through. We're down to P6 and I... There's no way we're getting Perez back. Our tyres are gone. We're going to have to hope now we can just cling on for P6. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be clinging on. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Even into turn one now we're sliding. We've got no grip. I should have stayed out on the mediums for another lap. At least. Maybe two. Because these tyres are gone. We've got Ocon. Gonna have a go at us down here. We haven't gone fully defensive. And he just drove into us. Hello, Ocon. How you doing, mate? We lost a little bit of our front wing through there, which is going to cost us on the ERS now. And stay ahead of them, even if they've got, even with the DRS they've got. Max Verstappen wins the race, but he, there's been no doubt of that for a long time. He's been in control of this one since the start. We've gone a little bit deep into that turn, but it's okay. We just about hold on. Just get through this final corner without picking up a penalty, and we're gonna hold on for P6. It's a good result. We've lost our fastest lap. So I believe Valtteri Bottas there on the final lap race. Over. Take care of the car on the way in. But P6 is really good for us, to be fair. I'm, I'm okay with that. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he showed that today. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. As you can see here, Mick Schumacher missed out on the points by six tenths of a second. Six tenths of a second he missed out on a point. Very, very disappointing, but he raced really, really well all weekend. He was fantastic. But yeah, we get P6, which is really good, and it's eight points to our championship and to the Constructors' Championship. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? The weather was miserable today, but do you feel this was an advantage? You had a few bumps and scrapes today. Who would you say is at fault? Lewis Hamilton. The team I claim is getting close to 16. Our claim itself has gone up to 30. And we get all the bonuses. We had held first lap, first place for two laps. We did the quickest lap in FP1, and the other one was score three constructors points, and we got eight.
So after a very successful weekend then, we are going to move on to the next episode, which will be the Dutch Grand Prix around Zanderfort. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you are new around here, please subscribe for more. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. And I've been Chris Club, LFC, and I will see you later.